let us talk about some of the terminologies used in ansible okay so the first terminology is called as the controller machine okay so this is where you will be writing the ansible code and that will be executed onto the target so the first first terminology is called as the controller machine in that you will be writing the ansible code okay and that will be executed on the node and next is called as the inventory so uh, ansible should know what are all the missions i should manage right so i need to have the ip address or domain name of the mission which i should manage and adding to that i need to have the credentials information what should be the username i should be using to uh, connect to the mission so all those things i need to have it and those informations are stored in the inventory okay and next is called as the playbook so in ansible we call uh, the about the ansible code right so combination of tasks can be called as the playbook uh, in the jenkins if you want to compare it with the jenkins the python script can be called as a playbook okay so in the playbook you can write tasks okay tasks are equivalent to your uh, steps inside it okay uh, actually you can relate task to the steps in the pipeline okay and playbook can be related to the stages in the jenkins pipeline so tasks are the actual thing like if i want to install a package i will create a task like that i can have multiple task and multiple task can be called in as a playbook and next is the module module or a predefined module available like uh, we have used the yum package manager so like that there is a module available you can use it and that will manage the package or if i want to create a user there will be a user module available you can use that to manage the users so that is called as module okay and next is called as a role role is the combination of playbooks so that you can relate it to the jenkins pipeline so you can write multiple playbooks and the, all the multiple playbooks can be called in to a single role that is called as the role so to repeat it okay so modules are the actual things and uh, you will write tasks to call the module combination of tasks are called as playbook and then combination of playbooks are called as the role so the next terminology in ansible is called as play play is nothing but execution of a playbook is called as a play okay when you want to execute something on the target you will actually execute the playbook okay so that execution of the playbook is called as the play okay and next is the facts so when i run on a mission the mission will have the default facts right like what are all the packages installed on it and what is my operating system version and what is the ip address allocated to that mission all those things will be stored as a fact in ansible so this is what is fact is all about and you can write your own facts okay so when you want to have a logic let's say uh, mm, on the web server i want uh, this variable should be available you can write it like that so that we'll uh, see in detail when you write the variables okay and next thing is called as the handlers handlers are a concept imagine you are uh, uh, you are having a playbook which will be managing the configuration file for a, a web server okay whenever i make changes to the config i want the web service to be restarted okay that you will achieve it using the handlers so handlers will restart the service only when there is a change in the configuration so that is a use of a handler because not not for all the deployment i will be uh, restarting the web service right so only when i change something in the configuration i need to restart the service so that can be achieved using handlers so anyway let me explain it again so modules are the thing which are calling calling the particular resource and you will call a module using task and combination of tasks are called as the playbook and combination of playbooks are called as the role and execution of the playbook is called as play okay and system level variables i can see them in the facts okay and uh, whenever i make some changes to the configuration only then i want to restart a service 
then I will use the handlers. And advantages, okay, it is very simple and it is very agentless. And uh, sorry, it's agentless and it is very powerful and flexible and it is efficient. 